viewers this is hive palace in collaboration with scott's media and your host for today is pearl serum and i am here to deliberate on the ongoing strike that the colleges of education is facing with some two vibrant gentlemen here with me and they are okay my name is thomas besamo my name is prince Tete Janova. Okay, so I would love you to give me your take on the ongoing strike and then the drafted timetable that has been given to us. Okay, we are speaking from Piki College of Education. And as we all know, Piki College of Education is affiliated to University of Ghana, Legon. As we all know, as it stands now, yesterday a drafted timetable was given to us and the whole college was shaking. We are all deliberating on it, whether the exam will come on or not. And as we deliberate on, a voice note also came out yesterday saying that if we decide to write the exam, that means we are siding with the government and the CITAG members, that is the letters, are not ready to release our CA or even mark the exams. Um, the voice note also states clearly that if the University of Legon is trying to bring non-teaching staff members to come and vigilate the exam or NAPCO members to come and vigilate the exam, they, are not, they will not be ready to release their CAs or even mark the, mark, mark the scripts. And concerning that, if they are on strike and we write the exam, and there is no marking and CA2 are not forwarded, then what are we going to do? Are we going to get the results from the exam that we are going to write or we are going to write again some other time? We are all confused. Though the timetable is in and we all have to be preparing for the exams, even we that are on campus are even confused. How much more those that are in the house that are even preparing to even come to campus to come and prepare for the exam? And as from the timetable, exam is supposed to start on Monday. Now we are all confused. We are preparing, though we, have to, we are students, we have to be learning and preparing for in case of anything to happen. But as everybody is saying, we have not even finished with our course outline. But we don't have a say, though, if the exam is being stipulated in front of us on Monday to write. If we are here, we can't say no, that we will not write. So as it stands now, we are waiting for the leadership to give us information on whether we are going to write the exam on Monday or not. So as we prepare, we still wait on the leadership. Okay, so Mr. John Eboa, what's your take on it? Okay, with the, with the strike, I think um, CITAC is doing the right thing. Because um, this thing has started for a long time and the government on taking sita for granted you know you cannot be working for a whole year without resting it is not cool and with the students to me from the students perspective i think uh, sita should keep on doing what they are doing because they are fighting for the future if these things are in place you know they are training us to become teachers and if these things are still in place we think um good uh, conditions of service will be met when we get there. You no, know, it will not be met. So they should keep on doing what they are doing. Uh, with the exams, I think students or the TikTok, they should be able to stand and then mobilize the students to boycott these exams. Because if they write the exams, they are supporting the government. They are telling the government that they should keep on taking the teachers for granted. And we are upcoming teachers if we write these exams it means we betray the job that we are going to do we are not trying to make the job better for the future so i think with the strike that is the right thing they are supposed to do and they are on the right path they should keep on keeping on aluta should continue thank you okay so that's their view on it aluta should still continue if I may ask, you say that what CTAC is doing is right. Don't you think that it's going to affect us, we the students especially? It's not going to affect us negatively. Because here is the case, we are not, go we are not going according to 
the time of the semester according to what has been planned for the semester by 9th of december we are supposed to be on vacation but we are supposed to write the exams before going now we are not going to write the exams so don't you think that is going to affect us yeah it is going to affect us if they say we should write the exams um, um, on let's say next semester we should write the exams next semester it is going to affect us one way or the other some students, as we are going home, we are going to work to come and pay our school fees for level 300. Mm -hmm. It's another year. And we are coming to do different courses. So if January and they have to put papers in front of you, it is going to affect you though. But uh, this is a right move. You see, we are trying to get a better future for teaching. Teaching or teachers in Ghana have been taken for granted for a long time. We will go on these strikes and one or two reasons will come back. So it's like the government is still taking teachers for granted. So that is why I'm saying that is the right move that they, they need to. Because you see, if they don't do this and they are still considering the calendar, like maybe it is going to affect the time frame, then we will still keep on marking time. You see, the only thing we have or the only problem we have as uh, citizens of Ghana that is keep or that is making us to mark time is we always think we have something to lose when you always think you have something to lose we don't fight so we think we are we are missing or the calendar stated that we should back it on 9th december so we have something to lose so we will let it go like that then the government will keep taking for granted when you look at the just presented budget uh, last week you realize that they want to freeze um, um, employment. Yeah. So when you look at all those things, they should fight for what rightfully belongs to them. You okay. understand? So that is why I think they are on the right path. No, okay. So Mr. Benjamin, do you think that what the CTAC members are doing is right? For me, I can't say their right is right or not. They are also fighting for their right though. Though we also see, we are also saying it's affecting the calendar, we have to write the exam and go home. But they are also fighting for their right. What they think they need or what they think is, is due to them that have to be given to them. For now, they are assistants and they are, they are standards. They want their money before they can come back. Yeah. We can't say they, shouldn't, they should come back without the money. Okay. And we can't say that what they are doing is not right too. They are also on their way. They are also fighting for themselves. They are also fighting for what? that profession, that position. And right now, as it states now, we are also here thinking about the calendar. I think Eugene too is thinking about how the calendar will be stipulated for next academic year. Mm -hmm. So they also feel it is good for the exam to be taken so that this semester can end. No, okay. So everybody's fighting for each individual benefit and it's making things what difficult yeah. for us we the students. But what should we say? It still goes with everybody fighting for their interest. So in synopsis, the students have become the ground on which the elephants are fighting on. That so is. we bear their cost. Sure. Okay, so how how long do you think that this is going to take how long yeah in fact there was a news out that the money that will be paid to the lecturers will be captured in the 2023 20, budget but unfortunately me myself when i go through the budget in fact i didn't see anything mm -hmm. of that sort do so right now i've been asking myself now that it is not inside the budget in case the lecturers are not paid that means we have to wait for them for another next budget to be ready for 2024 budget. I can't even tell. Just that we just pray that the government come in and do something about it so that they can come back for the academic calendar to end. So that we think about planning next academic year calendar. Because that one too is another headache. Since the colleges are trying to bring all the budgets on board, we don't know how they are even planning to manage that. Mm -hmm. Don't know how they are even going to draft the calendar to, so that everything will be good for all of us to go through. And here, here we are talking about another problem before that one. Okay. 
So, mm -hmm. Mr. Janoba, what is your take on that? Yeah, you see, me for how long it is going to take, I don't care because you see, we need to meet the standard. The president, you see, the president of Ghana, he, I think, he doesn't take um, teachers so serious because in one of his statements uh, last year, also he said that teaching is not a profession. Yeah. So with that, I think they are trying to take teachers for granted. Do you know that the day budget has been present and presented in parliament, the president flew to Qatar. You understand? So that money can cater for the CTAC teachers, the thing they are de uh, demanding for. Yeah. So I think the teachers are right to draft a new calendar. You know, COVID-19 has distracted our academic calendar. Yes. And we start down to draft it again. The calendar is being drafted by human beings. So I think they are doing the right thing. Aluta continua, they should continue. And till their needs are met, they shouldn't come back. Wow. Yes. And the students should also try to boycott the examination. And we are not going to write that as a receipt. We are not going to do that because it is not fault of ours. And if you are saying we didn't write it December, so we will write it as a receipt, it is not going to help us. We are not going to take it into consideration. Yeah, okay, so from what I took from um, John Obois' presentation, he says, Aluta continua. I don't know whether <laughs> he, he speaks French or whether it is Spanish, but he says Aluta continua. So, in case the the timetable drafted is being implemented, who do you think would invigilate us? Hmm. As I said earlier on, we don't know whether it's going to be the non-teaching staff, the teachers from the senior high school, the NAPCO members. If you are in campus and the leadership of teacher trainees accept that we should go and write the exam, we have no choice. Anybody they bring us in vigilator, I think we will go and write. Because that is our leaders, that is the decision. You alone, if you say you will not write, you don't have anything unless all of us will come together and say that we are not going to write. Yeah. Before that can go ahead way. But in case an individual person, you say you will not write, then you are submitting yourself for research. So right now it's up to our leaders so that we can all stand together with them in case they said, okay, because of the issues on board, we are not writing. We all go with them. But in case they are not able to stand on any ground for us to follow them, then we don't have any choice. Yeah, okay. Yes. Mr. Prince, your take on yeah, that Yeah, I'm is... sending a message to uh, the third president. Uh, Mr. Juni Jonathan, okay. that he should step forward, he should stand tall and make sure that he mobilizes the 46 colleges of education in Ghana so that they boycott this examination to help teachers because we are upcoming teachers. And if this is how teachers are going to be taken for granted, then we should do something about this. <laughs> It, 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 this is the time. There's no other time to do this thing. So uh, Mr. Junu Jonathan, his SLSC, should step forward and make sure that he mobilizes the 46 colleges of education to boycott these exams. No lecturers, no examination. We are ready. We will write. That is the fact. You see, we need to support the teachers because, you see, we are upcoming teachers. And if we don't do this now, there's no other time. To do this thing thank you welcome so aluta continua that was all i took from what they said to me we'll go for a quick commercial break when we come back we'll continue thank you